Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to work with fractions that are larger than one whole. So in our previous lessons, we've worked with fractions that have been one whole or less. But today we're going to stretch our minds a little bit and go with numbers that are larger than a whole. But you know what? I know you could do it. All right, our learning goal for today says, I can build and write fractions greater than one whole using unit fractions. So the materials that you'll need for this lesson are just a dry erase board. So make sure you grab that and then click play when you're ready to get started. All right, so here I brought two oranges for my lunch today. I cut each one into fourths so I could eat them easily. Draw two oranges on your board and show how you would cut my two oranges. So remember I said I would cut each one into fourths. So go ahead and draw two circles to represent your oranges and then show how you would cut them up. Okay, so pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so here are my two oranges split each into fourths. If one orange represents one whole, how many copies of one fourth are in one whole? So just one of our oranges right now, that's one whole. It's split up into fourths. How many copies do I need to make one whole? Yeah, four. What is our unit? Fourths. How many copies of one fourth are in two whole oranges? So one whole orange had four fourths and four copies. So how many are in two oranges? Eight copies. Let's count them together. So one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths, and eight fourths. Are you sure our unit is still fourths? Hmm, let's think about that for a minute. Well, there are eight pieces, so the whole should be eighths. Oh, stop. Remember, each orange is one whole, so the unit would stay fourths because a whole in this example is one orange. Hmm, these oranges look delicious. Oh, I ate one whole orange and one piece of the second orange. Shade the pieces I ate. So pause the video. Shade the pieces I ate, which was one whole and one piece of the second orange. And then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, so here's what you should have. One whole and one piece of the other one. How many pieces did I eat? Five pieces, you're right. So we can say I ate five fourths of an orange for lunch. Let's count them together. So one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, and five fourths. So this is where it's coming into play where we're talking about fractions that are larger than one whole. All right, so show five-fourths of a number bond of unit fractions. Remember, unit fractions are one part of the fraction. So what would the number bond look like if we're trying to show five-fourths as a number bond with only unit fractions? So go ahead and pause the video, draw what you think your number bond would be, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so here I start with 5 fourths because that's the total that we have. And then we're going to use unit fractions, which is 1 fourth, to model all until I get to my 5 fourths. So as I say it, even though the each part is 1 fourth, I'm going to say it as I'm counting so I know that I have enough. So 1 fourth, 2 fourths, 3 fourths, 4 fourths, 5 fourths. So each one is still one unit, 
But as I counted, as I ran, went around, I can know and see that I have five fourths. So compare the number of pieces I ate to one whole orange. What do you notice? So if I look at my picture, that might help too. The number of pieces is larger than one whole. See, the five on top tells me that there's five pieces and the total number of equal pieces is four. So I have more than that four. So because the number on top is larger than the number on bottom, that's telling me that there's more than one whole in this fraction. So that's always one thing to keep in mind. When you're talking about fractions that are larger than one whole, the number on top will be greater than the number on the bottom. So if the number of parts is greater than the number of equal parts in the whole, then you know that the fraction describes more than one whole. All right, so make a bond, number bond two with two parts. So one part should be the pieces that make up the whole, and the other part should show the pieces that are more than one whole. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video. You're making a number bond instead of, had, last one had five parts, so this one should only have two parts. One part should be the piece that represents the whole, and the other part should be the piece that represents more than one whole. So pause the video, do that, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. So here I have five fourths. That's my large part of my number bond. And then the two parts, the parts that make up one whole would be four fourths, okay? When it's the same number on the top and the bottom, that represents one whole. Then the part that's more than one whole is one fourth. So if I combine four fourths and one fourth, that gives me five fourths. All right, so let's draw some fraction strips and shade units to model a fraction. All right, so here I have two rectangles, five thirds equals, and then I'm gonna look for the fractional, um, the fraction of five thirds. Okay. So here, because I have thirds, that's telling me that's my fractional unit. So each part is going to be split into three. Now I know that that's the total number of parts, so that goes in the bottom of my fraction. And then I'm going to split up my rectangles, each one into thirds. Okay. Now I have five, and the five is telling me how many parts would be shaded. So one, two, three, four, five. And that goes in the top part of my fraction. Okay. Then I can label each part. So each part is one third, because that's my unit fraction. When your fractional unit is thirds, your unit fraction would be one third. Okay, so now you guys get a chance. Okay, so six fourths. Okay, so you're gonna come up with a fraction that represents six fourths, and then you're going to partition your rectangle into equal parts, and then shade however many parts you think for six fourths, and then write your new fraction. And then, so we'll do all of that, and then click play when you're ready for the next step. All right, friend, make sure to pause if you need more time. Okay, so I'm starting with fourths. That's my fractional unit. So that is the total number of parts for each one. That goes on the bottom of my fraction. Then I'll separate each rectangle or partition, each rectangle into fourths. And then I can go over to my six. That's telling me that there are six shaded parts. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That would go on the top of my fraction. Then go to label each one of your parts, which would be one fourth, because that's our fractional unit is fourths. So one fourth all the way through. Okay, did you guys get that? All right, awesome, great job friends. All right, so good job. You guys did a wonderful job building and writing fractions greater than one whole using unit fractions. So please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. Bye.